What's up guys, Strasher here from Attack, and TCL has a new contender in the 5G smartphone market with the TCL 10 5G. It's a mid-range device priced at under 18,000 pesos, but you'll get a 6.53 inch Full HD Plus display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765, quad rear cameras, and a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. With only a few 5G devices in the market under that price range, is this the one to get? Let's find out. Let's talk about the design. The TCL 10 5G features a large immersive screen at 6.53 inches with full HD resolution. It's a crisp screen with punchy colors. A hole punch is situated on the upper left for the selfie camera. Placed above it is the earpiece and up top is a secondary microphone and a 3.5mm audio jack. On the left is the textured smart key button for launching apps quickly and the card tray for a single nano SIM card and a micro SD card. On the right are the power button and volume rocker keys. The buttons are pretty much easy to reach, although the volume up button would sometimes require you to reposition your hand so you can press it. While at the bottom is the USB-C port, loudspeaker, and main microphone. At the back, we have a quad rear camera module in a single row, flanked with two LED flashes. Also found here is the fingerprint scanner. Overall, the TCL 10 5G is a sleek looking and premium device with a glass front and back and an aluminum frame in the middle with a metallic paint job. It's a pretty chunky device at 9.05 millimeters and a bit hefty at 210 grams. Now when it comes to the display, the TCL 10 5G uses a 6.53 inch IPS panel with full HD resolution and has a screen density of 395 pixels per inch. It's a beautiful display with HDR10 support, good contrast, and punchy colors. We even thought for a second it was AMOLED. It has dark mode and has an option to hide the front camera notch, or what TCL is calling dodge. Moving on, you can further enhance your viewing experience using NXT Vision Engine. From here, you can toggle image enhancement to automatically enhance image contrast, sharpness, and dark details, while video and game enhancement takes care of color, contrast, and depth of detail for HDR quality viewing. Audio-wise, the TCL 10 5G has a single down-firing speaker. And like most phones in this price range, the audio is loud and crisp, good enough for YouTube, Spotify, or some casual gaming. Handling the software is TCL UI 3.0 based on Android 11. It's a clean, easy-to-navigate user interface with colorful icons and uses home screens to house apps. Aside from the usual Google apps, it has TCL's own apps like Smart Key, File Share, Optimize, Smart Manager, TCL Plus, and TCL Support Center. For third-party apps, it's only Netflix and Facebook that are pre-installed. Storage-wise, we have 128GB out of the box, which is a decent capacity but you can always expand it via the dedicated micro SD card slot if you like. For hardware, powering the device is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G with an Adreno 620 GPU and 6GB of RAM. These are decent specs for a mid-ranger of this price and performed smoothly when it comes to the usual tasks like navigation, photography, and handling basic apps like social media and streaming. It's powerful enough to run games like Asphalt 9, Call of Duty Mobile, and Genshin Impact, although the recommended graphic settings are low. If you want to know more, check out the benchmark scores right now. Now for cameras. The TCL 10 5G is equipped with quad rear cameras consisting of a 64 megapixel main, an 8 megapixel ultrawide, a 5 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel for depth sensing. For selfies, we have a 16 megapixel camera. It features portrait mode, super night, pro, light trace, high pixel, which is the full 64 megapixels, stop motion, super macro, slow mo, and panorama. Image quality is excellent even for a smartphone of this price. The images have a great dynamic range, good contrast, sharp details, and rich colors. Portrait mode also works well in providing artificially blurred backgrounds on subjects. Checking out night mode, it was able to illuminate dark subjects. However, the details are muddy with overblown highlights. Selfies, on the other hand, are sharp with accurate colors and good portrait effect implementation. 
When it comes to videos, you can record up to a 4K resolution at 60 frames per second with electronic image stabilization. Quality is also as good as photographs, while the EIS, as you can see, also works well in stabilizing the footage. When it comes to connectivity, the TCL10 5G pretty much covers almost everything we need for a smartphone. It has 5G, Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, USB-C, and satellite navigation. Although what's missing here is dual SIM support, which is odd not to have for Android phones nowadays. But this shouldn't bother you unless you really need to use two SIM cards. The TCL10 5G is also equipped with a 4500 mAh capacity battery. It's enough to last us a whole day of mixed usage. PC Mark, however, rated it at a low 7 hours and 39 minutes, but in our video loop test, which entails playing a 1080p video on loop in airplane mode at 50% brightness and volume with the headset plugged in. And we got a surprising 23 hours and 26 minutes of playback, while charging the battery takes almost 2 hours. The TCL10 5G is priced at 17,990 pesos, which makes it one of the most affordable 5G-enabled smartphones in the country. It has a nice screen, great cameras, and long battery life. However, it faces tough competition in this price range as there are more powerful devices under 20,000 pesos that also have 5G, not to mention dual SIM capability as well. Still, it's a welcome addition to the growing list of affordable 5G smartphones. So that's it for our review. What are your thoughts about the TCL10 5G? Let us know in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss on any future uploads, and be sure to visit yougetech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Josh, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.